Hey everybody, this is FireGuy522 here with my 7th Hammer Editor tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Source SDK to make water into your map. <clears throat> so you have like a lake or a puddle or an ocean or whatever. <clears throat> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to launch Source SDK. And I got that right here. We're going to choose the engine version in the current game. It doesn't matter which one you choose for this tutorial because it's like this for every source game, I believe. <clears throat> Unless they have some freaky modded thing. Anyways, so we got, let's go ahead and open up Hammer Editor. I already have that open here. And I already have a map made just for this tutorial. The water. Okay, so once you have your map open and you found the area where you want to add the water, we're going to go ahead and get the brush creation tool or the block creation tool, whatever you want to go with. I go with block and brush, so. Okay, so we're going to filter out water, okay, and we're just going to look for a water texture that we've seen that looks pretty good, and I'm going to use the water from Gmod Construct, so, <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and, since I'm using a displacement for this, I can just fill it in, no problem. Okay, so let's just go ahead, the block here. And adjust it to make sure it's not overfilling or anything. Make the brush like this, and it comes out fine. <clears throat> okay, and then I'm going to add another little thing here for um, concrete. Okay, I'm just going to do this. It's going to be completely out of place, but I'm just doing this for you guys' sake. a different water texture, so deaf water. <clears throat> Oops. Okay, make sure that if you do this, that it's a believable amount of water, not up to the rim like this. I mean, come on, no water is actually going to be that full, so move that down a bit. That's a believable amount of water. Now, here's something you would never want to do, is if you have something like this, you never want to have a side not touching the wall. That <clears throat> It denies the laws of physics for water. So it's basically this part, of, okay, this part of the water is completely detached from here. There's an invisible force field here. You never want to do this. You always want to make sure that the water is completely touching the faces so that it looks realistic enough. Alright, so once we have this, I'm, we're just going to have to compile it and load it up in the map. I'm going to pause the video while I compile it and whatnot, so, yeah. Okay, and I'm back, and the map compiled successfully, so I'm going to load it up in my console. So, map, tree, test, and it's going to load. And I forgot to place down a spawn, so I'm going to be spectating, so... Okay, go spectator. I'm going to note the... or whatever in here. I'm just a, nope, thank you. Okay, so you see, here's our water from Construct. Go inside. There's this nice little water overlay sound, which is really loud. And I'm not sure why. And here's our little thing of water we made earlier. for you guys. Okay, so we're back in here. Here's the tree in the middle that I made. There's the sun. And now here's the water that we made. Oh, I'm still signing into friends. Okay, anyways, yeah. So that's basically how you add water into your maps. Um, this has been FireGuy522 here, teaching you how to add water into your maps with Hammer Editor. Have fun. Don't burn yourselves.